Okay, so the only thing I've done so far is assemble the back um, with the yoke on it, and then I've sewn the back pocket piece to the back side seams, and I've also sewn the back crotch seam, and I have done a similar thing to the front pieces. I have sewn the front pocket piece to the side seams, and I have also sewn the front center crotch seam. So the next step, I think is step five, if I remember right. You're gonna turn everything, um, or I turn the front right sides out, wrong sides in, and then I leave the back with the wrong sides out, right sides in, and then I'm gonna slip the front down inside the back, and I'm gonna line up those pocket pieces. So all I'm gonna do is line up that center notch. There's the center notch. I'm gonna put a pin because I'm gonna be stitching around this bottom curved edge. And then I'm also gonna line up over here the notches on the pocket pieces. So make sure those notches are lined up on one side There'll be a bit of the pocket that extends. That's totally fine. Just make sure you line up the notches. And I'm gonna put a pin right at the edge. And so I'm gonna sew all around that pocket edge. I'm gonna pin this side over here too. Again, I'm gonna have on the back some extension of that, or the inside, that'll be a little bit longer and that's totally fine. Just make sure you're lining up those notches. And then I'm gonna sew just these pocket pieces up and around, just like that, from this edge up and around over to this so edge. So I have um, finished sewing from that little edge up and down and all the way around. So now I'm gonna turn everything right side out. So I'm gonna grab, basically, let's see if I can, yep, that's right. So now I'm gonna turn everything right side out. And I have my back piece laying flat on my work surface. And then the front lays flat on top of that. Just like that. So then I'm going to take, I think the next step is to take and top stitch, kind of fold this down nice and smooth along this edge right here. And we're going to top stitch all the way down that side. And then again, fold it out. I'm using scuba in this demo, so it doesn't press real well or like hold its shape real well until you do that top stitching. It kind of bubbles a little bit like that. That's okay though. I'm gonna go through now and just top stitch those two front piece edges only. And again, you're gonna see it look like this where it looks like you've got a waistband piece here and a waistband, here. that's okay. That's what, it's, that's what it's intended to do and look like right now. So let me just do those two sides. Point, I have top stitched just that front edge all the way down along the side. So again, I've got it looking like this where I have the back laid out flat and then you'll have the front edge of that back pocket there. And then you've got this piece, which is the front and the front pocket together. Those are now just gonna connect. So now you're just gonna make one front piece. So take the top of that edge where there is that notch and line it up with the notch from the other pocket and then line up your center front seam pin that all together. So you're gonna actually have three layers right there that is gonna be in the front. That's kind of why scuba knit isn't really the best uh, fabric of choice for this because it's a little thicker. So it, you are gonna have three layers right here in front. And then I'm just gonna come over to the side, pin it over there. It should overlap. And actually this should come right up about to that notch right there. It should overlap a little bit. And again, the same thing with this, pull it over. It should overlap right there to that notch and pin it. Now you have what is gonna be 
and feel and see more like a traditional waist where your body goes down inside there. So if you can lift the camera up a little higher. I don't know if you can see down. So that's really what it's gonna look like. You're gonna have the back and then you're gonna have those three layers right there in front to make up the front. So now I just put the um, garment with the waistband up on the edge of my ironing board. I slipped it up on top of there and I have already basted it across the top where the waistband is going to be. And what you're gonna do is just kind of take this top or front flap that creates the pocket and you're gonna fold it over so it lines up and it's even and flat and it'll just come over. I think it's about, gosh, if I remember right, two inches. And then you'll pin it in a few locations. Mine is kind of wobbly because my differential feed was a little bit off. And then you're gonna stitch down, and I can't remember, there's a mark on the pattern piece that tells you how far to stitch down. So you're gonna tack from there to there to create the top part of the pocket opening. And then there's another mark on the pattern piece where you start and you sew from there down to however um, high you're gonna have your slit on the pants. In this particular case, I just made short, so I probably would go all the way down to the bottom. And you can do that um, even if you're making pants. You can slit it down as or have the slit up high as you want. Um, there is a marking and it's three or four inches, I believe, past the pocket spot where it is on the pattern. But in this case, I'm just making short, so I'd probably just stitch all the way down. So again, you're just gonna stitch from here to here and then from here down. And that's what creates that pocket opening.